It's not the 13th. It's the 17th. Um, let's move it to the NBA playoffs. Okay. How, how much fun is this right now where on a Monday afternoon, Monday at like 1.30, 12.30, whatever time it started, we had NBA basketball like all day. I mean, it's still going right like, now. I don't like it because I'm missing all this crap because I got to work. It's Yeah, it's – well, because they're doing it so quickly, right? They're, they're making sure they get in all of these games. They are – I mean, it's just all day, every day. It, it's March Madness, I, I missed, basically. I missed the one game I really wanted to see was the Utah earliest the game. Yeah. God. And it was a great game. It yes, ended it up was. being exactly what I thought it was going to be. Um, and uh, so that that sucks. Yeah. I'm probably yeah. going to miss most of the Sixers game, Celtics game. So, well, but that's that's just my choice to work late tonight. So, there you go. There you go. So, we do that's have, uh, so let, let's kind of go through these matchups here and see if there's anything that we see as, as potential upsets, et cetera. Uh, Matt Miller said Raptors are spanking the Nets, Clippers and Mavs will be interesting. And, uh, and then he said Jamal Murray. Michael Fritz jumped in. He said Jamal Murray went off. Then he said that uh, Mitchell tried to beat the Nuggets on his own. It was a great game. Yeah, I mean, it, it, look, the Jazz, they don't have Mike Conley right now. He left the bubble to go, you know, for the birth of his son. Uh, can't blame him for that. But it, it is strange that, uh, mm. you know, well, you think. This- Listen, I'm not, I'm not dad of the year, okay? Yeah, I'm going to tell you this. If I had one of these jobs where I was a professional athlete making – millions of dollars and i'm if it's baseball and it's one of 162 yeah I'm, i'll see you on a couple of weeks if it's playoffs in any sport at all man I'll, I'll be there when i'm done okay you don't need me i've I've already done my part yeah you don't need me there. i'm the most useless person in the delivery room that's i mean that's a good point that's a very good point uh, uh so so i'm not gonna knock somebody for it but we got to stop treating these guys like they're heroes because they went to see oh, the yeah. birth of their no, son. No, no. I'm, like at some point in time, there's a bunch of dudes in that locker room that depended on you all year. And now you're disappearing at a big point in time. And I know that, you know, this it's okay. I get, we live in a different world and I am a hundred percent the outlier here. I'm sure of that. I'm sure that nobody else sees things that way or very few people. And if they do, they probably wouldn't say it because they get criticized and crushed. But I just don't think I don't think you have to be there. It's, you you it know what? Sense. In a couple of months, be there because that's when she's going to want your help. Yeah, it's a hundred percent, hundred percent. But right now, these guys have moms and dads and and aunts and uncles that can all step up and help. Uh, Matt Miller said, "Rule of thumb: unless it's a championship, you miss if it's your first kid. It wasn't Conley's first. Uh, he should have been there. Uh, yeah, this is his second. So, you know, I, I, mean, I don't even know about first, man." Like I said, once again, I was there for both mine, and I just stood in the corner. That's I mean, that's pretty much what I did. That, I mean, well, what do you do? Uh, you stand you need in the corner? Something? What am I going to do? What am I going to get? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> uh, Alonzo Chico jumps in on YouTube. He said, go Gators. I know that's for you, Chris. Absolutely. All right. uh, Simon Cool Hand said, isn't Snacks Harrison sitting out this year? He's a big dude. Uh, and then the Brown Yeti said, what's up, fellas? And nice to see the Yetis in here again today. Uh, Michael jumps in. He said, Chris, you aren't missing much with Boston and the Sixers. The East won't be good until next round, possibly Eastern Conference Finals, in my opinion. Um, well, I just like watching the Celtics win, and I really like watching the, the Sixers lose. There you go. I mean, it, that's that's a rivalry. It just is, especially right now, yeah. even though yeah. uh, uh, Ben um, – what's it? Is it Ben Simmons? Oh, oh yeah, he's out. Ben Simmons. Yeah. I know yeah. what you're talking about. Yeah, no, he's, he's out, out, but, you know, it is what it is. I think I think it still could be entertaining. Uh, because there's so much hate between those two teams, but uh, either way, let's uh, let's chat about some of the matchups here. I I'm curious your thoughts on the Bucks and the Magic. The Bucks have not been very good. It, is this a situation where they can just flip a switch and, and turn this thing back on? Uh, a little bit, yeah. I think they were treating those first eight games like preseason games. You might be right. You might be right. I'm uh, not worried about the Bucks now. Maybe maybe I should, and maybe we'll see it after the, now. I, when I'm not I worried about it next round. I'm not worried about it in, in this round. Yeah, I don't I don't think the Magic are good enough to be able I, to. I will tell you, it. there's a world in which I could see the Raptors beating them and I could see the Celtics beating them. Now, I think they're better than both those teams. I think they will win both those teams. But if they lose one of those rounds, or I guess they would have to lose to only one of them because they had to play each other. Well, that, that would be in the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, yes. They would play the winner of the Pacers and the Heat. Now, we can talk about 
those two as well. Now, the Pacers, that, doesn't worry, that doesn't concern me either. It would have to be when they get to the Celtics or the Raptors. Yeah, yeah, okay. Those are the only two teams in the East, I think, that have a chance of taking them out. You might now, be right. I could be wrong. We could be sitting here in a couple of weeks, and I'm looking like a fool. That's not unheard of. So, Well, the, the Pacers and the Heat have both played pretty well. Uh, yep. And the Pacers, man, T.J. Warren has just been an absolute beast inside of that bubble. It's unbelievable. I completely what he's been agree doing. with that. I just, I but, just think that they'll figure it out. Yeah, I think, I think they will as well. So we, we've got the the Bucks moving all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, so we, we both think Celtics over Sixers. Uh, Sixers just that Simmons loss is just a little too much to to be able to handle right now. And, and the Raptors over the Nets, I think that's fairly easy to call, especially right now. I mean, they are destroying them right now. Um, yeah. So, I, so then the I guess the most entertaining of all of these matchups really. It, it, maybe more so than than either of these teams against the Bucks would be the Celtics against the Raptors. Like, yeah, that's that, that's a fun matchup. That round is going to be incredible. Yeah, if we get that, that's going to be made for TV. And then the winner of that against the Bucks is going to be an incredible matchup. Oh, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Now the West, the West has a lot of great matchups. If the Raptors find a way to get back to the NBA championship game or Just championship series. Just um, take that coach and give him any contract he wants. I mean, that is – you do it without Kawhi, and that is something else, man. Uh, the Brown Yeti jumped in. He said, uh, I'm late on this, but I was driving. Uh, dads are the only ones allowed in the hospital now. At least that's what my brother is saying. He's three weeks out. Ah, that might change things a little bit. No, no, that's fine. She don't need anybody in the hospital. Okay? For, those, for those that doctors, are late. She got medical professionals in the hospital. When she leaves the house, because once you have a kid, they push your ass out in like hours now. Okay. Oh, that's overnight, yeah, that's maybe, and then you're going home. When you get home, there's all these other people there. You don't need to be there. That's a okay, valid point. Valid point. Listen, I can, look. I know I'm standing alone on this island, <laughs> but Everybody, if I had a own. job that paid me seven figures or more, which all of these people do, well, his is. Eight, I'm not leaving that years. job for for going to, to see my kid be born, I'm going to make sure my kid is taken care of for the rest of their life right now. Uh, that's okay. That's a valid point. Valid point. I, I see Daddy's where you're working coming on from. his legacy. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's move into the Western conference. Uh, we got, look, the Clippers and the Mavs. That's going to be really interesting. I, I would love to see what this is going to look like because that Luca and Kristaps. That might Porzingis. be my favorite round. That, I said yeah. earlier the the Jazz and the and the and the Nuggets was going to be my favorite matchup. Without Conley, it hurts a little bit, but it's still going to be a great one. I I do think the Mavs Clippers matchup will be my favorite to watch. I, I want. I think this I really, could end up being a, a four one Clippers kind of win, and it's going it to make me sad like when that, that happens because but, but I it, really like this Mavs. But it, team. it may not feel like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're right. Where every it. every game is is difficult. If we get five great games and the Clippers win four and one, I'll feel okay about it. If Kawhi just flips a switch, Paul George just flips a switch, and they beat the hell out of him, it'll shock the shit out of me. Ed, same here. Same here. So I think Luca is playing out of his mind. I think Porzingis is healthy and playing great. I think that team can hang with anyone. I'm curious to see how Patrick Beverly plays against uh, Luca. I, I think because Luca, obviously, we see the the offensive end. We we see how crazy he is. But Patrick Beverly is one of the best defenders in that's all it. of basketball. That's I want to see what happens here. Like I, I think I'm, that's going to be you. a fantastic matchup. Uh, Matt Miller said if Westbrook was healthy, that OKC Houston series was going to be awesome. Uh, look, I think it still could be awesome. Like it, it's, I, I don't. I think it's going to be boring. Well, any Houston game is awesome to watch if you if you like that style of basketball. Well, I, I think I, I don't think find the, it appealing. The I will watch very little of it. The the CP three going back to Houston matchup could be. I don't care I, about that storyline. I think it's entertaining. Um, I don't care. Let's uh, let's see. Uh, Michael said Chris is trying to come home with his shit on the lawn. I'm with you though. I know I didn't do anything. Talking about your your stuff from earlier. Uh, Matt Miller said Mike Conley's been garbage anyway. And Michael said they said they're testing Conley daily, so it won't have to quarantine when he comes back to the bubble. Why hasn't everyone done that? That's a good question. Um, I don't know. I really have no well, idea. Just don't get caught at the Purple Church while you're home, and you we'll be all right. Yeah, you'll be just fine. You won't have to worry about it. 
Uh, so we talked Rockets and OKC. We talked Nuggets and Jazz. We talked Clippers and Mavs. You think uh, you think Lakers and Trailblazers are going to be a series? So this is the same kind of thing of the Clippers. I think those games could be entertaining. I think they could be fun. They could also be 4-0. Yeah. You know. Uh, it, could, it could be 4-0 me. with, like, a really uh, difficult out, right? That's right. I mean, it I just think, could be really I think, tough. I think the Lakers will handle them. I think the games will be highly contested. So, yes, I think it'll be fun to watch. It's just so hard once you get to that game three and one team is up 2-0, like it's just tough to buy in. Or once you get to game four and, and if one team's up 3-0, even if they've all been close, it's just now a matter of time before that last nail gets driven in. Yeah, you're right about that. For me to get real excited, the underdog of these series need to take game one or two. Yeah. Oh, I mean, that's typically the way it always worked, right? But even more so. But no, no, no. That's only that way when it's a home and away thing because then they took a home game. Uh, they took a road game. Then they go home for a couple of games. If they can win their home games, you got to believe. Here, home and away don't matter. So uh, you true. just got to take one early just so I can believe. In yeah, it. that's that's a valid point. That's a valid You're point. You're not winning game three going down to, and then I got to think you got to win four of the next five. Yeah. Oh, no, four, four, six, sorry. Four out of, yeah, if you lose the first two, you got to win four out of six. So uh, that, that I just don't believe any of these teams are capable of that are the underdogs that are going against just uh, LeBron's not dropping that. Okay. You're not doing that to Kawhi. Matt Miller said Conley was actually getting himself some Magic City wings. And Michael Fritz asked, have we made our picks on the Western side yet? And we have not. So well, I'll give you some picks now. I'm, well, I'm going to take all chalk. I, I think, I think I'm going to take OKC um, mm. over over the Rockets, and you know I'll take the Lakers, uh, da, 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 da. and then I guess I'm going I'm going Nuggets over the Jazz, and I'm going Clippers. Uh, I'm going to do I'm going to do one thing. I want to look at the odds for what are do you have odds up by chance? No, I sure don't. I've just got the playoff bracket. I just need to know the price on the Mavs. I, the, if the price is good enough, I'd take that underdog just to have it, oh, just I to ride with the dog. I bet it's massive. I mean, it's got to uh, be massive. It, I don't know that it's going to be as big as you think it is. Hang on. NBA series, not game. Let's see. Give me a second. Oh, everybody go over to uh, uh, sportsbookreview.com and make sure that you get your... Plus 465. I mean, I'd probably sprinkle a little on that underdog just just because why lay Wait, 630. Is that, is that the – oh, that's not the game tonight. That's just the overall series, right? That's the series price. Okay. I would I would lay – I would lay – I'd lay I'd, – I'd take that. I'd take plus 465 before I bet minus 630. Okay. Okay. On that one. Yeah, if, if everybody wants to see the odds on this, by the way, sbrpicks.com slash CFB, that'll take you to – all of the different odds and all that kind of all, stuff. So all the favorites out. are massive favorites, man. Just, oh, yeah. Just big. Oh, 100%. And and, and you knew that. So, if you be. like that Thunder, you can get them at plus 130. That's the one that's not. That's the short favorite. Yeah, that's the short. Well, I mean, it's a 4-5 matchup, so it, it makes sense. But, but, I, uh, I but it's still plus that. money. It's still plus money. So, uh, with that said, you know, I, I'm going to take the Lakers and the Clippers, I think, to get to the uh, conference finals. On that if side. I'm just making picks, yeah, I, the NBA is is just all chalk. They for years and years and years, you don't ever get, you rarely get under uh, underdogs. Yeah, no, that's unless there's an injury or somebody well, tests yeah, positive but, or whatever. But they hadn't yet, so why no. would they? So, uh, so yeah, I've got Lakers, Clippers on uh, on the West side. I've got Bucks, and I think I'm gonna go Raptors in the East. And then at just because I want to see it, uh, I will take the Raptors against the Clippers in the finals because I think that a Kawhi against the Raptors thing would be So fantastic. I heard a bunch of people taking the Celtics-Lakers finals. Now, I, I don't know how much of that is just folks wanting, like, nostalgia. It'd be and fun. old school, you know, Lakers-Celtics rivalry. But, you know, I, I would be shocked if the, the Celtics are able to pull through this year. That would that would surprise me. Yeah. Um. But that's just because I think Milwaukee is just that much better than those other teams. I think Giannis is that much better. And in the NBA, one player really can make a difference. Michael said, uh, that'd be a great finals. Anybody but James, or anyone but James is my wish. Uh, and then Matt Miller said, Lakers are not beating Houston if Westbrook is healthy. Eh, we'll see. Uh, I'll tell you this. I do want to see that matchup. 
Yeah, I think it would. I think it'd be great. That's going to be a really fun second round matchup if Houston can get through and Westbrook can get healthy. Yeah, because you got one that's completely guard driven and one that's completely front court driven. So, golly, man, you're Ooh. talking about just the yeah night and day differences. You got that right. You have got that right. All right, let's move off of that one and let's dive into some NFL. We've got 